more seriously, look, there's been a massive release of 900 uh, pages of very, very mm. harrowing court papers relating to the Jeffrey Epstein uh, papers relating to the court case relating to that. Lots of people are named in there. All of them uh, deny uh, any involvement whatsoever with the worst allegations that are in there. Mm. Um, Prince Andrew is named over 70 times in that yeah. document. Now, we know quite a lot about Prince Andrew. I don't think there are any new allegations no. against him. He denies them all. Um, do you think he's named over 70 times because he's one of the most recognisable people in there? Or do you, why, why do you well, think I he think, gets so think, many mentions? I, I think he is the most mentioned. Yeah, I think, I think clearly people recognised him um, and obviously so they can cite him uh, in their depositions uh, to the court. But also, he did hang around with Jeffrey Epstein a lot. We know that. That's not disputed. Now, what happened is obviously is disputed. And I don't think we've had any fresh major allegations. But it's not a good look to remind the world how much time he spent with the very disgraced um, uh, uh, financier. Polling uh, individual, I mean, uh, absolutely know, prosecuted Epstein for soliciting sex from underage uh, mm. women on behalf of uh, other people. That's what he was prosecuted for. Um, and Prince Andrew had actually, this had all gone a bit quiet, hadn't it, Chloe? Yeah. He had a, a better end to the year. He has a few very loyal supporters still in, in royal circles who were calling him potentially to return mm. this year to the front line of a public life. He was, of course, with the royal family at their annual outing to Sandringham. But his, his former wife, Sarah Ferguson, uh, sorry, I don't know, uh, was there as well with their, with their children. Just couldn't come at a worse time for either Prince Andrew or the royal family, could it? This sort of reopening of these old allegations. No, it, it's not a good look for the royal family at all. And the royal family and their press team will be having to make some very difficult decisions at the moment um, as to how they respond. You know, the royal family doesn't want to rock the boat and end up in a lot of controversy, but it could look potentially, you know, even worse to say nothing, um, because in that that makes them look complicit with. But is, is it, it won't they stick to their mantra of never, never complain, never explain, let like say nothing, and the country will move on? I mean, it feels to me like a lot of this is priced in for Prince Andrew. These allegations have been made; they've all been denied. It's just some more information about historic allegations which were known. Yeah, and I think the thing is, in, uh, King Charles has been very keen to have this slimmed down, you know, the hardcore uh, working royal family. And so, you know, even if, you know, his name was to be cleared of all allegations uh, uh, tomorrow, I'm not quite sure what his role would be because he doesn't seem to fit into that core group, Princess Anne being the sort of most hard work, you know, hard working uh, of them all. So uh, I, I think, you know, he's going to be keeping a very low profile for a very long time. And other people who were named, and again, deny it, President Clinton. Clinton, former President Clinton, Michael Jackson, Donald Trump. Um, President Clinton, there's a story about him today um, trying to stop Vanity Fair uh, publishing any information relating to him. Again, he denies it. We've seen no uh, comment from Condé Nast, which I believe are the publishers. Or something. But very damaging for him as well. It isn't just Prince Andrew. Yeah, I mean, it is incredible how many of, you know, some of the most powerful, important, well-known people in the world have been involved with Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein. Um, and these are very powerful people who will know people in the press and have a lot of money and will be trying to pull as many strings as they can in their power to stop their reputation being destroyed. So, you know, I'm not surprised that he's tried to stop Vanity Fair from publishing anything on him, but... Mm. We'll see what happens. And of course, the American yeah. political donors becomes the big question because money mm. counts in American politics. So, mm. you know, the question of not necessarily Epstein himself, but all his associates as well, will all have been on the, the sort of people that politicians would be worrying for. And, and pretty, pretty difficult questions for Keir Starmer to answer. I think this was put to him yesterday. There was a, a JP Morgan probe into their, the bank's connections with Epstein that said, pub, it was a published document, it was put, featured in the Financial Times, that said in 2009, British business secretary Peter Mandelson stayed in Epstein's lavish townhouse in Manhattan while the financier was already in prison for soliciting prostitution from a minor. Now, Peter Mandelson has not confirmed or denied this, but this was put to Keir Starmer yesterday, who is being advised still by Peter Mandelson, does this sort of put Keir Starmer in a difficult position? Yeah, I mean, I think Peter needs to clarify, uh, uh, you know, whether or not that took place and, uh, and uh, you know, you know that happened. It seems like a, uh, a you know, a, a, a lapse of uh, a judgment of the, uh, if he did well, go he and stay with him. serving government minute. Yeah. What I can't believe is that the British Civil Service allowed him to... Yeah. Whether the guy was in prison or not, the guy was in prison, everyone knew about that, but whether he's in prison... Why, did, why didn't he just book a hotel room? Why would he stay in someone else's house? Well, I mean, if you're a minister and you're on official business, then, you know, you yeah. stay with the, the embassy or the consulate. So. Really, really odd 
behaviour if proven again, because Madison hadn't confirmed or denied that. But also the other thing, it just shows a real creepy network, if you like, around the world of ultra wealthy people who just get off on hanging out with, uh, you know, po senior politicians and members of the royal family and uh, other senior politicians. It's just a bit, it's just a bit creepy, isn't it? It's, it's sort of lifting a lid on a world that none of us really know exists. And it does remind, and it's sort of the worst thing about it is it plays into that kind of uh, thing that's big on social media, that trope about the global elite, etc. Um, you have to mm. say when when the global elite uh, behave as they have uh, uh, over the Epstein affair, you know, mm. you can understand why people are so concerned. Yeah, we I think we have a bad culture of thinking that rich people are. Evil. Immune. Above the law. Gen generally, I, you know, it's partly a jealousy thing, but this doesn't help. You know, when we want to look up to people who have been huge, successful entrepreneurs and politicians, and now we see that it seems like all of them have been involved with Jeffrey Epstein. They're not really. Well, I, I they're not really role models been, and anymore. Many of them have been friends with Jeff friends, Jeff yes, Jeffrey right, Epstein, yeah. not necessarily involved in the more serious uh, uh, crimes that he has. But it's still not a good him. look, regardless. Yeah. No, no, it's right? terrible. It's absolutely terrible. I mean, that's why I'm just so shocked that any serving British politician, Peter Mandelson, was, was the business secretary at the time when this alleged stay in Jeffrey Epstein's house uh, took place. Any serving politician would put themselves in such a vulnerable position. It's not the fact that he's a Labour pair. If it was a Conservative, I'd be just as shocked. Yeah, I just I, can't believe it's happened. I mean, you know, uh, 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 you know, I, I'm a big fan of Peter Mandelson's, but um, his weakness is, is rich people, as we've seen with various issues uh, 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 over the years. And I think it just reminds us that, you know, all politicians need to be careful of the allure of, you know, um, uh, being of interest to people who are rich because they're powerful, you know, even if it's only briefly while they're a minister. So, you know, you know handle with care when you're dealing with... Uh, Anybody, the super rich, even if they're not in, in any way like Epstein. Yeah, well, very, very weird. And we will obviously keep talking to you about this on here on Talk TV. 